Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Build Tune Race. We were working on the Mazda again today. Uh, so since the beginning, it looks like I've had an injector that's like stuck open or an issue. It might be a lifter, but um, looking at the back of the valve, kind of everything, it might be an injector. I guess the L83s are kind of known for injector issues or just kind of the Gen 5, some of the direct injected injectors. So I'm halfway through taking it apart. I figured this was a good time to show you guys kind of where I'm at, how to do it. Uh, and go through it because it is kind of a pain, but it's uh, once you kind of know the steps, it's not terrible. So once you remove the intake, real simple, unplug some plugs, uh, 10 millimeter bolts to pull the intake off. You can have it off in about 10 minutes. And then you have the, the high pressure pump here, and then you have the feed lines to the injector rails. So this is the injector I was having an issue with. I'll show you guys that here in a second. Um, lots of crap and gunk and everything gets kind of in here. We actually have already kind of cleaned some of it up. But from the carbon buildup inside the cylinder gets on the tip of the injector and then actually hangs the injector in the cylinder. So we actually had to pry up, like use a hammer and some um, screwdrivers and everything we can to like get this rail up, which would kind of bent the rail. So hopefully it'll go back down and it'll be okay. But if not, I might have to get a new rail. It's uh, But they were stuck in there. It looks like somebody left water to get in there and everything. So GM recommends that these be replaced every time. I've heard that they can be used more than once but why risk a um, fuel leak and a fire so i've gotten two new of these rails here with the yellow tag and this is a rail that's in so once you get it off you will pull these bolts here these four and then you start working the injector rail up here is the injector rail pulled out the bad injector is here it just has like some this is all that it had it's kind of some black crap on the tip of it that was about it. These had quite a bit. I've already started cleaning these. These had like a bunch of gunk and carbon buildup. Uh, so I've just taken some brake clean, wiped these off. And they have Teflon seals on them. So here is a Teflon seal that I cut off of this one. So as you pull these out, they kind of get scratched and dinged up. So even if you pull it to replace the one injector, you need to replace the Teflon seals on each of these. That's using this here. Um, this is the part number here. Hopefully you guys can see that all right. One two six five six nine three three, um, and then here's the two rails. You have the middle rail here going over the other side. One two six seven seven zero zero two, and then this one here is the other high pressure rail, and it is GM part number two six seven seven zero zero four. So hopefully you guys can see that. I will also link those below. Um, this first one, what it is, is these are all the things they recommend when you replace a side. So it comes with four of these clips, which I'm not removing these injectors, so I'll leave those there. But four clips, um, two per of the nylon seals, and then also a rubber O-ring like normal, and a plastic for the top of the injector. So here is an injector I replaced. This would be GM part number 1262316. And I'll go ahead and get this out and show you guys. It comes already with uh, a few things on it. So here is the replacement injector. Um, there's the plastic piece, the new O-ring up top that sits up in here. And then down here is where the new uh, Teflon seals are at. So I'm going to clean these up, get these ones cut off. All I did was take a razor blade and cut the seal. It's real simple. So you just take a little razor blade and cut right here and it will open up. Um, but I guess to get the Teflon seals back on, it's kind of a pain. The Teflon seals are not like an O-ring. They don't expand. So I watched actually another guy's YouTube video and he took a tip of a pin, cut it, kind of shaved it down and created like a funnel, um, to help slide it over the tip. And then you can work it down into each of the grooves. So I'm going to try that. Hopefully it works out, but I'm going to get started on that and get cleaning up on the injector ports here clean those real good so we don't put more crap down in there um actually to help get the rail out i ended up using some brake clean just sprayed it in there to help hopefully break some of that up um but as you guys can see you probably can see it right there it definitely is a little bowed because the two center injectors stuck really bad um and the outer one started coming up but to leverage it and get them released kind of had to bend the rail so hopefully Hopefully I can get it back in and it'll be okay. Um, I guess we'll find out. So I ended up taking one of these tips here off of a pan and it kind of helped stretch it over, but it actually stretched them oh, maybe a little too much. They're, these just feel slightly looser than these here. Um, maybe they're different seals, but this was from the factory thing and you guys can kind of see that these just don't look quite the same. But um, 
It is what it is. I'm going to try it. So I'm going to try to clean these up real good without stuff falling in the engine anymore. And uh, see what we can see what we can figure out. See if we can get that cleaned up decently. See if you guys see if you guys can see that. All right. Uh, they're pretty gross. Injectors are all reinstalled. Cleaned out the injector holes as good as possible. And now we're going to try to put this back in, bolt it down, reinstall and see if it helped or fixed it or if I have to pull it all back apart. Everything's back together. Uh, to get that other fuel rail in, it didn't just kind of slide into place. And maybe it's because it's bent, maybe not. Um, kind of set it in there, pulled it back out, and it looked like it was wanting to rub the nylon seal. So hopefully we didn't mess anything up there. Um, worst case scenario, I guess could pull it back apart and reset seals and try to reset the rail, but, uh, everything else is back on. So I'm going to just power on the car, turn over the engine a few times and start pushing fuel into them rails. So hopefully we can kind of look in there, uh, make sure there's no leaks, at least on the rail surface. I guess if something happened with the nylon seals and we didn't get it set perfectly, um, really it's going to like have like probably a little, tss, 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 like I would guess like a uh, cylinder pressure coming by kind of like almost like an exhaust leak type of a thing but up through the rail um next to the bolt or next to the injector i mean so uh just have to see how that works out or maybe with the high pressure it'll spray fuel i don't know so hopefully none of those are an issue hopefully we just can get it fired up and everything will be good and then i can mess with all that again next time probably whenever i build the motor a little bit more or whatever i'll go to like a bigger injector Shout out to Alex, keeping a second eye on, making sure we don't catch anything on fire. <laughs> Trying to give it fuel pressure and just turning it over. To work the mechanical pump and pressurize the main fuel rail, so. Should be doing it. Should be all right, huh? Worst case we do is try it. As far as I can see down in there, I don't see nothing getting wet yet, so. All right, just make sure you're not near the belt or anything up there. No, I'm good. We can't even spray anything down in there to like see if we see a bubbling. We can almost take like Windex and spray it down in there and see if we saw bubbling, then we'd know if it's leaking around the... Uh, I can see three of the four rail connections and I don't see anything dripping off of them. So, so it's not like it's spraying up out of it or anything? No, I don't see anything getting wet yet. So I said, I think worst case scenario is that if one of them seals wasn't right, you'd actually be getting like cylinder pressure past the injector. Not really fuel per se. So it's gonna wet the piston, but then as it compresses, then it's gonna to try to shoot it out past the injector. Yeah. So it's kind of hard to. Yeah, hopefully we're all right. I think we're all right. Yeah. I don't see anything that looks like it's leaking as far as I can see down in there or nothing. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'm with you. So oh, hopefully, hopefully we're all right. That's all I had to do. Hopefully that front cylinder um, is good. Probably after just running it like this, I could probably pull that front plug and see if that cylinder looks cleaner. And then I'll know if that's fixed the issue. Um, and then I could probably start getting into tuning it and stuff. Hopefully, I'd love for this thing to be able to go like 1199 down at LS Fest. I just don't know if the density altitude will be there for it or not. But with a full tune and everything, if it can go 1270s or 60s up here and then down there, if it picked up a second, I mean, should but uh it's hard to say so that's where we're at guys i'm gonna uh play with it a little bit more make sure everything's good and, and so no major fuel leaks that we could see or like hearing it hiss out of that out of like next to the injectors or anything uh car seems to idle far better than it ever has it doesn't like get down and get real rough at idle um so i'm gonna drive around the block real quick so it comes right down just idle smooth like right here it used to like run rough and now it like probably idle in a solid like 50 or 70 rpm higher now with the new injector in it just because of that 
Um, so we're gonna go run it around the block, take it back, pull a plug, and see what it looks like. So here, so here's the plug that I just pulled out of that cylinder. It was a new plug at once. I just never changed it um, since I changed the injector. So it looks like it maybe was starting to clean it. So what I did is I threw a brand new plug in that cylinder. I'm gonna go drive it again real quick, come back and pull it and see what that one looks like. All right, there it is. The plug looks pretty good, I'd say. I saw some heat. We just drove around the block real quick, so it's still super clean, hardly any heat to it. Um, but definitely was running. It's not black. The last time I did that and just went around the block, it was black. So uh, yeah, looks good. Now it's time to make some adjustments, tune the car, and try to do all that before we head to Bowling Green for LS Fest. So hopefully we can get this thing to go 11s down there. So thanks everybody for watching. If you want to keep up with the rest of the videos from Built-in Race, please hit that subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video.